2023 presidency, another serious allegation implicates Peter B. Welcome to the news. If you are new, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if I've been there supporting, welcome back and thank you as you like and share. Peter will be a former governor of a number of states, has been robbed in an allegation that has to do with juicy appointment in the state's civil service. A lady who goes by the name Ada Anambra on Twitter has claimed that only Roman Catholics are given top appointment in the government house. The claim was confirmed by Joy Bukwe, a member of the Anglican Church who described this as unacceptable. There is disturbing claim that religion in a number of politics decide who gets top government positions. The allegation was made on social media by Joy Bukwe, who was reacting to a similar experience shared by a woman who goes by the name Ada Anambra. According to the woman, only persons in the Roman Catholic faith get all the juicy positions in the public space. She alleged that the promotion and elevation in the state civil service are determined by the church one attends, adding that a person must be a Roman Catholic member to enjoy the bigger offers. What is even more worrisome is that the next thing said this unwholesome foundation was laid by the administration of Peter B a former governor of the Sun Eastern State. Reacting to this, Ibokwe noted that as a member of the Anglican Church, he is very well aware of this alleged trend. He described the tradition as not just despicable but totally irresponsible and unacceptable. I have made this point known to all and sundry. An Anglican bishop told me in tears what they have been going through at the hands of Catholic governors in a number of states since 2003. I am an Anglican from Munewe in a number of states, and I know the story very well. It is not only despicable, but totally reprehensive and unacceptable. The monopoly of government house in Oka by Catholics must stop as a matter of urgency. However, it must be said that this is an allegation as will be easier to react or debunk the claim made against him. Peter Obi is recalled that the former spokesman of President Goodluck, Pele Jonathan, has alleged that the main obedient of microblogging blogging Twitter is an agent of the proscribed independent people of Biafra, Ipo. Mokri, in a video on his verified Facebook page, alleged that this main supporter OB is the main promoter of the proscribed IPOP using a female profile on Twitter. Peter OB knows IPOP agent disguises as female obedient on Twitter. The ex presidential aide added that Peter OB is aware and they both had discussed it, but the former Anambra State Governor chooses to condemn his action in private than in public. Well, this kind of thing definitely will bring reactions. And people propaganda lies and irresponsible enemies of progress. There is no name like Ada Nambra and Joe Ibokwe is anti Igbo. Race of any party are not an authority to confirm Peter B. I can in nobody be allowed to confirm somebody. What an accusation and wicked blackmail. I've never read any positive pieces from Ibokwe, and today is a joint venture with a faceless lady. We are still watching. This is infantile gossip. It is not true, and this kind lady is not a legitimate person. And that Anambra is not a name. And Joe Ibokwe collaborating the claim to tell the whole world when last he visited Igbula. Joe Ibokwe is a full animal, perceived, and he had no business with Anambra politics. And that Anambra tell us your name and your local government. Let's know the civil servant and political appointees in your local government. You are all paying sacrifices. You mean people see take Joe Ibokwe seriously in this country? Who is this other number? No one would be surprised because more evil men and women will be coming out with well cooked up lines and lines soon. Aim, of course, to stop will be 
they will all fail. For mentioning Jogboko in this write-up, I won't read down anymore. Igbokwe went and hid himself in Lagos, knowing nothing about his village, local government or state. He's coming to tell stories he knows nothing about. He's one of the shameless political talks in Nigeria. Wicked likes his politics paymaster. All these APC people are dissipating energies looking for this fault. Instead of helping the president, they helped install to tackle the enormous problems they created in the country. As long as Joe Bokwe is in this story, the story does not hold water. Joe Ibokwe is always making a very viable statement people he believes to be his enemies. People old people know him for that very unfortunate. And that go and eat your money. You have done the job they ask you for, for your egg Joe Igbo. I am not Peter B, but I can stand to say that this allegation from woman wherever it's coming from is a blatant lie. The person should look for something else to configure. Whatever they did for Catholics, it did the same for Protestants and other denominations. Some people can only eat when they carry false news. Any news coming from Choyboko is always controversial and with hatred. Into Igbo, please ignore him. Nigerian politics now, they can look for and create artificial loopholes. To discredit someone. There's nothing frustration cannot lead frustrated people to. After verifying and scrutinizing his record as governor and find nothing, they resort to blackmail and name calling. Not his family members but Roman Catholic faith. This gutter cleaner and street sweeper find nothing wrong on the configuration of service chiefs and low sadness appointment in the Federal Civil Service. It's not nothing, the headache of the civil service in Anambra because of P2B. Now, wow. Other, this name does not exist anywhere. I can someone be Ada Anambra. Joy Boko, you are a disgrace. You are your so called Ada Anambra. This man is a frustrated political talk that wants to ruin his brother in the name of politics. Shame on you, sir. Yoruba just said, your Gino brother is roofing his house. You came to steal nails. Shame on you. But hear this. No matter your ranting or gang up or cook up and boost, cook and boost story, you will still tell us the youth who, will, who want a better Niger, no going back. All we know and hail is Peter will be all the way. Will be that. Well, that is the reaction on the allegation that Roman Catholics were giving preference in Anambra State Civil Service, the people have come out to debunk this allegation. But what is your comment, comment on this? Kindly make it known as a subscribe to my channel. Thank you, good day, and be blessed.